Alright guys, so I am on my way out. We're going to the bus station. We were pretty late. Well, we're going late. No, we're not late. It's like five minutes for the bus. It's not late. But uh, for some reason my alarm didn't go off. So I didn't eat breakfast and like I had to go really fast. But we should be fine. We bought the tickets last night, so we don't have to buy tickets. The trip's gonna be from here to uh, Midtown. It's gonna be like five hours, and then I have to wait five hours for the next bus. And then that one's gonna take like 10 hours, I think. So it's gonna take a whole day, 24 hours to get there. I am now in Montes Claros and I am here with my couch surfer and this is my couch surfer, her name is Erica. How long have you been a couch surfer? ¿Cuántos años vos has sido couch surfer? Two years. Two years? All right. And ¿cuántas personas vos ha hospedado? Uh, One. Okay. So you guys understand, she's been, she's been doing it for two years and she has hosted one person. Now let me tell you about the trip. The trip was 20 hours, like always I hate those trips, but um, nothing special. I got here in the morning and she picked me up on the motorcycle, which was kind of weird because that backpack is really heavy <laughs> and riding with it, it's kind of hard. But uh, well, now we're gonna go on a quick tour of the city. <laughs> That was Erica's mom. We came here to the downtown and it's uh, very basic. This town is very small, it's 400,000 people. So it's not very big. And Erica's telling me that there is much, not much to do here. <laughs> We're gonna go see one of her friends later today, but uh, we just came here to the stores. This is a downtown. So as you, as you guys can see, it's very uh, simple. But like any other downtown in Latin America, they sell everything here. Shoes, clothing, electronics, everything gets sold here. You guys, we have come to the main plaza. Actually, this is not the main plaza, but this is just, uh, Erica's telling me that this is the first church of the town. And it looks pretty nice. And everything around here, like I told you guys, is just a bunch of stores. I think the smaller the town, like the more the all of the stores are concentrated, like in the downtown. But yeah, not very much to do around here. But yeah, nice church, and we might go inside in a little bit. Uh, today's a game between USA versus Belgium, so I really want to see that. And I really hope the US passes to the next stage. <laughs> This right here is the main plaza. Of course, you can tell because the main park, not the main park, but they, also, they usually have a, this square with a fountain or a park. The church is over there, or cathedral, I'm not, I'm not sure which one. There should be a government building. I think it's that one over there. I guess I want to introduce my host's mom, right here. What's your mom's name? Introduce her. Oi. Oi. <laughs> Su nom? Elise. Elise. Oh, okay. <laughs> and she cooks some good food here. Feijão, uh, beans. Beans. Carne, beef. Beef, yeah. Vermigelo. Vermigelo, which I think is like uh, squash. Arroz. Rice, yes. So guys, as you guys can see, we came to the mall. Uh, I actually like this mall for one reason. It's just really hot outside. <laughs> I th I'm pretty sure she, she doesn't know, she doesn't quite know it, but uh, the altitude, I think the altitude here is pretty high because the sun is like really, really strong. It burns. She has to go to work, so I just came just to check it out. Guys, the US just lost. That was a great game. One of the best games the US has ever played and it was so good all the way to the end uh, but that means that my two teams that I was rooting for they're out of the World Cup so it won't be as exciting anymore but 
I gotta pick another team, so I guess it will be Costa Rica. I I really like like underdog teams, and Costa Rica is definitely an underdog. Um, they've gone really, really far, so I'm gonna be backing them up from here on. <laughs> Guys, check this out. Um, here in Brazil, well, not in Brazil, here in this town, they cut the pizza in little pieces and then everybody eats from it. Like, just sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. So it's like yeah, a, an appetizer. We, we kind used of. to get a normal slice, but sometimes when I just drink beer, we just take a small one. Yeah. And that's how they do it. And I'm here with Erica and her friends from work back in the day. These are her friends. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> And they all kind of, most of them, most of them speak English, so that's good for me. Yeah, it's a nice place, and they're playing some music over there, like always in Brazil. But yeah, check it out. That's how they roll here.